Maleficent is the, obviously the new new Disney film with Angelina Jolie. Um, we're lucky enough to, to have worked on a, you know one or two Disney films. Quite most recently, uh, Frank and Remy, and we've got a really good relationship with the studio. So there's well established relationships there, and you know in those relationships we've delivered high quality product on, on other features. Maleficent was filming in the UK at Pinewood Studios, and uh, I had the opportunity to go up on set and build a relationship with Robert Stromberg, the director, and Kerry Villegas, the uh, VFX supervisor. And then also I was able to take some still frames or very short clips of Angelina. You know, showing Robert different shots and different references of how scenes could look I think was really worthwhile. Maleficent is essentially a very beautiful film in 2D alone but by adding the 3D element to it we've really kind of lifted it up and just given that extra sort of level of beauty to the film and it really kind of immerses the audience in this fantasy world. Lane Friedman, the show supervisor from Disney, he, um, he had a very specific idea in his head of exactly where he wanted each and every aspect of the shot. That made things very easy for us because we were able to very quickly turn over shots to him and really you know, give him an idea of, is this what you had in your head? He wanted to keep the integrity of the plate very, very accurate. So this meant that paintwork has to be reconstructed to a very sort of, you know, I mean, we always do get a, we always match a plate very, very you know, closely, but um, we were talking sort of more pixel accuracy in areas on this. Well, the advantage is the conversion that, you know, with a big visual effects film, nearly every shot was a visual effects shot in this film. But essentially, um, visual effects films, you know, they, they definitely lean to being converted, you know, because so much of it is made up in layers. And then once we get, once we get delivered the, the, the elements and the layers broken out again, that's a lot simpler for us to, to put through the process. So it, it's kind of, you know, conversion definitely fits with big visual effects films. And this is one of those. The biggest challenge we faced on Maleficent was a scene of Angelina casting a spell over the fairy's cottage. And essentially that was, you know, it was really nice because the spell just creates this huge sort of rainstorm inside their house. So we then created our own CG digital rain to sort of layer up and really sort of feel that torrent of rain just coming down. So it created a really nice sense of depth inside the room and it's a result we're really happy with. Through gravity we are indeed the use of head, head geo um, and then certainly put it into, into production on World War Z. So come the end of World War Z and the, and the end of gravity we'd fully sort of tested using Hegio, how we're going to do it, how we're going to roll out the tools. When we got to Maleficent, uh, it was, it were, we were set up in that workflow very efficiently. I always felt that the horns were going to look really good in stereo if they were, if they were modelled and rendered like that. The advantages are twofold really. From an internally, we were able to get consistency across all the shots of Angelina. It's actually a quicker way for us to do it than, than just hand sculpting the heads and the horns. Um, and then, Secondly, it gives this sort of the way her heads move and the horns move is accurate, it's, it's exact. Um, so there's, there's a big advantage in using head gear. And I think, you know, making sure she looks good, it's not just about the horns, it's about her face, it's about the way she moves, all the relationships in her face. The most iconic moment, of course, is when, is when the, prince, the prince kissed you know, Aurora. That's the most iconic because everyone grew up with that story. We were able to add sort of extra environmental lighting, get some really nice light beams coming down. So it's really nice to feel that, but also just the depth cues of that shot. So sort of you've got the front of the bed to Aurora, to the prince, and then to this lovely sort of vibrant background with these lovely sort of light beams sort of coming through. That's, it's, it really creates a nice, nice stereo image. So that was kind of, kind of nice to bring back all those sort of childhood memories. And hopefully by, you know, having creative input on this new version of the scene, 
we're able to kind of like make those childhood memories for people in the future.